Well, howdy there, pipe pals and gals. Holy Smoking Pipe Padre coming at you. With a little video that's a little interest video. Yeah, here I am smoking a very unique pipe. Maybe most of you will agree. You know me and my penchant for unique and kind of different kind of pipes as well as the traditional. This is a pipe I got just about 30 years ago when I was in college. It is, I found out, a Ben Wade spiral pipe. Mm. And so, smoking this uh, beautiful pipe. We're waiting for a little bit of rain, maybe some thunderstorms coming our way here in Northern California. I'm sitting out here on my patio and just enjoying the beautiful uh, June morning. And I have a question for you. What do you do when you come to the end of a tin or a pouch and there's not quite enough in there for um, another pipe full? Well, if you're like me, uh, like I used to be, I just toss it, you know, you know, the end of the bowl and there's not enough in there for anything significant. Well, about a year ago, well, actually about six months ago, I was watching a, a video from the Virtual Smoking Lounge, VSL David. And uh, he very playfully had a video about what uh, he does with his leftover tobaccos. Because in this pipe, I am smoking this mixture right here. And I affectionately call this mixture, as he does, well, you could call it lots of things. You could call it uh, bits and pieces. I think that's kind of a fun uh, name for this, bits and pieces. Uh, he calls it Frankenstein blend. Um, you can also call it mystery mix or God's blend because only God knows what's in it. And what I have done with this is I have over the last mm, seven, eight months, as I come to an end of a tin or a pouch or a bag of uh, tobacco, what I do is I just add it to that little canister there. And uh, what I do is I, I kind of give it a little bit extra t TLC. And what I do is I, I, I mix it, I tumble it, maybe a little spritz of distilled water from time to time to keep it moist. And uh, that's it. But I do, um, I don't let it just dry out. I don't let it just, you know, you know, I try to... Uh, uh, nurture it, if you will. And I'm here to tell you, uh, some of the blends that are in there, uh, it's a mixture of all sorts of different things. English, Cavendish, Balkan, Orientals, Latakia. It's got lots of different uh, tobaccos in there. <coughs> it has Sunset Breeze, it has Pirate Cake, it's got Blue Mountain, it's got uh, Squadron Leader, it's got Haunted Bookshop, a little bit of Half and Half, and, uh, and again, God knows what else is in there. <laughs> well, what I did was um, I have been uh, also wanted to talk to you a little bit about, as many of you know, I've been having an affair lately with my Dunhills. The last few months, oh, actually starting maybe a year ago in July, um, you know, I started, uh, you know, um, uh, pretty much um, almost exclusively smoking Dunhills within a few exceptions of my Calabashes. And the problem was that I have uh, neglected some of my other earlier pipes from my earlier pipe collection of 30 years ago, and this one being one of them. And uh, so I decided that, um, you know, I haven't smoked this pipe in an awful long time. In fact, I, uh, one of the few memories I have of this pipe is I'm smoking it when I'm in college. Uh, and that was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, early Devonian period, right? Okay, so what I decided to do today, it's my day off. And I said, you know, I've been wanting some time to try this, just to see how ghastly it was going to be. Well, dear friends, and that's the reason why I make this video, is to encourage you to start creating your own mystery mix, God's blend, Frankenstein blend, bits and pieces blend, whatever you want to call it blend, because I am absolutely amazed 
And, and this pipe here smokes extremely hot. Uh, you can see the thin walls of that pipe. Uh, some of you might even call that a volcano pipe. It kind of looks like a volcano, doesn't it? But it's called a spiral pipe, I guess because of the spiral shank there. But, that being said, I have to tell you that I am absolutely amazed and impressed. Uh, I'm shocked even that this tobacco, which is a mixture of all different, I mean, it's an eclectic blend to be sure. You could even call it a Catholic blend because it takes in so much. Catholic with a small c. Um, it's actually quite flavorful without being harsh. You know, sometimes, you know, again, some tobaccos um, may, may, uh, 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 may smell nice and delicious, and then they, you, find, you fire them up and you find out, oh my gosh. But I am absolutely um, enjoying this morning pipe. Uh, which is made up of all sorts of different tobaccos. Now, to be sure, uh, I'm not going to say that this is like something you would buy that's really super superlative. That sounds like a little redundancy, doesn't it? Um, but th the fact is that instead of tasting extremely horrible uh, and something that you just, you know, oh gosh, this is d deadly, you know, um, I'm finding it to be an absolutely fantastic little smoke. So, the reason to make this video for you this morning is to encourage you uh, to, uh, before you throw out those la little leftovers, those little bits and pieces, those little tidbits of uh, remnants, remnants of your tobacco from a pouch or a tin, why not think of getting a canister? I would probably recommend something a little more airtight. This is a... Uh, I have to say, I have to do a lot of babying on this, and maybe that's part of the reason why it, it isn't it isn't so bad. Because I, I do uh, keep it uh, humid. Uh, I do uh, keep it moist, and I do turn it a lot. And um, so, uh, what I would recommend that you just do is, uh, you know, don't throw out those little bits and pieces, but start collecting them and making your own very special Frankenstein blend. Thanks for watching, and enjoy. Light up your world, light up your pipe, today, okay? Oh, and there may be a couple other videos. By the way, there's one other, two, there, well, but I'm going to tell you, tell you this real quick real, before I close. The next video I'm probably going to make this morning is a very special personal video, and uh, it is, has to do with the fact that in June 6th will be my 20 years of being a Padre. And I want to make a special video uh, commemorating that and talking about that. Um, so it will probably be entitled something really odd. So if you see another odd video for me, which most of them are, um, just in, just know that it's probably about, my, it'll, it'll probably say in the description about uh, a 20 year reflection on uh, my anniversary as a Padre. Okay. All right. We'll talk to you next uh, and not until then. Bye-bye.